Hey guys, welcome back to CyberGeek. In today's video, we are going to see top 5 best wireless adapters for Wi-Fi hacking. So this video has been suggested by you guys. So I hope you guys are gonna like this video. Okay. So if you guys want to watch this video in Hindi, you can go to Hacking Fandom channel, which link I have left in the description box and in the i button too. If you want to this video in Hindi, you can watch the Hacking Fandom channel. But dekh sakte hain, uska link in the description box or i button. Par de diya. So let's continue with the video. So top 5 best Wi-Fi adapters for wireless hacking. So before I jump into the main top 5 best Wi-Fi adapters, let's talk about two points over here. So let's go. So first comes problems with built-in wireless cards. So what is this talking about is that the NIC card which you get inside your laptop or it comes with your PC. NIC is nothing but your network interface card which comes inside your laptop by default built in you can say uh, which supports your wi-fi hotspot stuffs and all just like in pcs you uh, uh, put it nic for your LAN connection stuffs and all so they have certain drawbacks and problems so this is the reason why we buy external wi-fi adapter for performing our wi-fi hacking so what's the first point is that can't be used in virtual machines so if you're using virtual machines you can see there are certain drawbacks for your uh, built-in wireless cards in virtual machines now built in Cards are not good for hacking. As I said, they are not good for hacking. They do not support any hacking tools. Built-in cards do not have long range coverage. Yes, our Wi-Fi or hotspot, if you see of a laptop, it does not have a good range of coverage over here. Now built-ins, this is the most important point. Built-in cards don't support monitor bond, packet injection or any hacking tools. Hacking tools in the sense, all the wireless hacking tools, it's not supported by your adapter, okay? So these are the drawbacks and the reasons why we go for our external Wi-Fi adapters. So let's jump inside the second point, which is the most important point before buying any Wi-Fi adapter. So wireless cards chipset. So chipsets is nothing but does all your processing and calculations. You can call it as a brain of your uh, your Wi-Fi adapter. Okay, they are the brain we used inside the wireless adapters determines all the adapter is capable of and its functionality so chipset is nothing but you can call it as a brain which decides the functionality of your wi-fi adapter whether it is going to support 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz whether it's going to support monitor mode or packet injections or any kind of stuffs or activity it's all decided by your chipset okay so before buying it do consider about the chipset which you are gonna buy okay so let's jump into the top five best wi-fi adapters now remember one thing uh, whatever adapters i'm gonna show they all support monitor mode okay uh packet injections they all support air crack ng and all the wireless hacking tools okay so the first one comes with panda wireless pa u06 200 mbps and it's adapter which comes with a price range of four four thousand and 15 over here you can see and it's really a very high price right now in the market uh, i think the wireless adapter prices has been increased okay so if we move on we can see the specifications pandas where upgrade any computer to latest standards which is really great um, max data rate up to 300 mbps okay uh, backward compatibility with 802 okay it supports only a single band which is 2.4 gigahertz and it is a 4g network not your 5 gigahertz so you can perform only the attacks for the 2.4 gigahertz network you cannot do any attacks on the 5g or 5 gigahertz network right so low power consumptions okay this is really great one of the functionalities uh it doesn't consumes more power which means it will not get uh, too much heated up which is a good thing for an wi-fi adapter and support state of art okay so it supports basically all web wpa and wpa2 for our wi-fi hack so this is one of the good thing it supports both web 64 bit and 120 bit okay this is really great for this price range as a beginner if you want to buy it you can go for this one which will be one of the best one for you guys so moving on the second one which is alpha awu so36 neh long range wireless adapter so this wireless adapter is being used by me if you have seen all my hacking videos 
over here which is being done by this wi-fi adapter it comes to the price range of 4899 when i bought this adapter it was around 3000 right now the price range is extremely very very high now let's go for the specifications it supports uh, superior Wi-Fi performance. Yes, it has a very good range. It does not have any heat issues. Uh, if you have seen all the videos, it you can see simply like how good it is for performing all the Wi-Fi hack attacks. And I don't face any problem or error till now with the this adapter over here. So compatibility with IEEE, all the uh, standards of Wi-Fi over here, you can see it supports all of them. Wi-Fi well supported Windows, Mac and Linux, wide range coverage, as I said, long range, high speed transfer data rates and frequency 2.4 gigahertz. The only drawback is that it supports up to 2.4 gigahertz, not 5 gigahertz, which means our limitation of attack has been done only for the 2.4 gigahertz. We cannot touch the 5 gigahertz. Okay, so it's moving on in the third one. You can see that it's one more from the Alpha Network AWUSO36NH 2000 megahertz high power and this is one of the best one. It has a very good long range and comes with a price range of 6350. Right now, all the Wi-Fi adapters prices are quite high. So wait for it to get low, then you can easily go and get them. So specifications, monitor mode, like an injection so if you're paying much more higher uh, price or you're going much more higher performance adapters they know that why you are gonna buy them so they have already mentioned directly that it supports monitor mode like an injections compatibility with linux os long range over here so it is a very good long range it doesn't have any heat issues it is a dual band it supports both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz so you can easily go and get this one so it's moving on with the fourth one you can see one more it is from alpha i uh, you might be thinking why am i using alpha but in the market right now if i say the alpha ones are the best one if you go for the cheaper side go for the panda which i have shown do not go below that because those uh, other wi-fi adapters have heat issues and many other issues i don't want to waste your guys money if you put it you put it for a good product do not go and get it any bad which will make you regret afterwards okay so this is one of the best Wi-Fi adapter. It is a dream for me to get this one because it is has a very good range and it works very smoothly. Okay, it is a 13,690. The prices are very high. One of my friend has. So uh, that's why I included this one because it is really a good Wi-Fi adapter because I have performed attacks with this one and it is very quick and very responsive. So specifications, amazing NH300. MBBS and AC 865 MBBS, which is your data transfer rate, perfect for media, okay, which means video streamings and all. Web uh, 64 bits, Web 128 bits, okay, it supports both. Okay, WPA PSK and WPA 2 PSK, that's really good for a Wi Fi hacking. This is one of the best one right now. I can say it supports dual band over here, you can see, and has function seamlessly with Windows 10 and Linux 2. It supports all of them. And supports all standards of Wi-Fi hacking. So if I say that if you want a upgrade your Wi-Fi adapter, go for this one right now because it is uh, like very advanced. I can say if you are gonna upgrade, you gonna feel the difference of using these adapters uh, from your previous one because it has a very good range. It is very very smooth and high speed. It does not have any heat issues and you will not uh, have regret buying this one. I can say guarantee that this is one of the best Wi-Fi adapter. So moving on only the last one alpha once again AC1900 Wi-Fi adapter 1900 Mbps and it supports all the if you see 802.11 AC which means it supports all the standards of Wi-Fi adapters okay so do not get confused here. it is a very long range and it's a dual band and if I tell you guys to guess the price range of this one because my dream was to get this one at the first but due to price range I didn't got it I uh, then you, which one I showed in the previous one I wanted to get that one okay so if you see the price range over here it is exactly the same as the previous one yes you might be shocked why the price range are same I am really confused why the Amazon is showing over both the prices of the different functionality tools as same because this one is much more powerful than the previous one okay you can see specification high 
lightning fast performance you can see this is very very fast okay it does not have any problem over here and it uh, it is been used for video streaming also and it is been used for very long range it uses for wi-fi uh, in homes or offices for doing multiple tasks okay so i can say that if you want to upgrade and you want to buy really something very good okay so you can go for this one or the previous one it's your choice high gain quant area you can see detachable four of them it supports dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and yes it says video streaming if you see a video streaming wi-fi adapter you can easily understand the quality of the product right how good the network connectivity it will be and it doesn't fluctuate like uh, at a very long range coming and going no it is a very constant and it is very good maximum network speed over here and universal compatibility and simple installation so it supports all the wi-fi standards and it supports windows very easily and kali linux kernel 3.0 supported and above okay so you will not face any problem with this wi-fi adapter so whatever adapters i have shown in this video all supports packet injections monitor mode air crack ng and all the wireless hacking tools which you find on your kali linux so you will feel free to go for them and do not go for the cheaper ones because you will regret uh wasting your money and stuff and all and if you're a beginner don't go for high purchase go for the the first one which i showed you panda or the one which i use because once you go and get those one it will be very good and you will not feel that much but if you buy the high expensive one you will feel like why did I spend so much money for getting such an expensive Wi-Fi adapter and, and I don't do anything with it. It will feel like a waste. So that's why someone who want to upgrade, they can choose this one of the best adapters. And those who are a beginner, they want to buy for the first time, please go with the cheaper one and explore a bit. Then you decide whether you want to upgrade or not. Okay, so I hope you guys like this top five Wi-Fi adapters. The price ranges are very surprising over here, but I hope you guys want to like and that's it we'll meet in the next video guys till then goodbye